Hi, I'm Nicola from Modalise Creative and this is our video tutorial for the reversible bandeau top. If you don't already have the pattern, it's available as both a paper pattern and as a PDF instant download. So if you can't wait to get started on the project, you can find this pattern on our website and also in our Etsy shop. So what we're going to cover in this video is the cutting out of the pattern in the fabric. Then I'm going to do a very quick run through of how the garment's constructed for more experienced sewers who don't need the detailed step-by-step -step instructions. And then I'm going to move on and do a detailed step-by-step -step sew along for you to follow if you need those extra instructions. And at the end, I'm going to have a look at some creative ideas and just show you how versatile this pattern is and what you can do with it. Let's look at the pattern and the cutting out. Once you have the pattern, you'll notice that there are a couple of different neckline options. So we have the V-neck and a straighter neck, and you can choose different back closures. For the sew along, I've chosen to cut the V-neck and also the wider back. The straps I've chosen to cut in the fabric itself and I would recommend that if you are cutting the straps in the self fabric that you cut them on the bias. They'll mould a lot better to the body and look a lot nicer. If you choose to use the um, alternative straps, for example bra straps or ribbon, then I, you only need approximately quarter of a metre. If you choose to cut the straps in a self fabric, you would need around 40 centimetres of fabric. So, let's get the garment cut out. So now we have the pattern cut out. Let's have an express run through for experienced sewers. First step, sew the vertical bust seams on the fabric, already done, and on the lining. Step two, place the right side of the fabric to the right side of the lining, making sure that if you're using straps that they are secured either by a stitch or with pins as I have. Then you need to sew along the bottom edge of the hem and the top edge of the neckline and back. Step three, we need to clip it at the neckline and also bag out. And at this point, you can really see how this top can be very easily reversible. Step four, finish the back. All you need to do is to tuck in the seam allowance and the backs have been cut straight so that you can tuck them into fit at the back and choose how you'd like to close. Okay, so first of all I'm going to take the shoulder straps, pop right sides together. I'm just taking the width of the foot because you only need to take approximately half a centimetre seam allowance. Remembering to back tap at the beginning and the end. Stitch 
switch the whole length of the strap. end and then go straight on to the next strap. two straps ready to be turned through and that's where the fun begins. <laughs> so we're going to sew the overbust seam making sure that the seams match at the top on the intersection of the one centimetre seam allowance and I'm just going to back tack at the beginning and to take the pins out so that I can curve it gently round. And now we're going to do the same for the lining on the overbust seam. Make sure it's matched perfectly at the top. Same for the other side.
So all we need to do now is decide how you'd like to close the back. If you've chosen the bandeau style with the extended back on one of the pattern options, then that's quite straightforward. You would just bag out the backs, close the back as, as directed in the pattern files and tie your back. If you go for the bikini back option, make sure that you have a little practice of how your back closure goes together before you start. Don't get it wrong like me. So for this one, all you do is simply tuck the back through the closure loop there and secure on the edge with a, with a stitch. Those two aren't fully reversible. So if you'd like your top to be fully reversible, a good method of closure would be to use rouleau cord, elasticated possibly, and a tie. So for this option, I've inserted loops into the back, tuck the seam allowance in on both sides, and I'm going to pin those into position make sure they're quite secure and then stitch making sure that the two edges are exactly together maybe stitch in a tiny little bit so that you make sure you catch them and when you get to this section here back tack to make sure you've caught it all and use a cord to thread through and lace up your back So there's some of the options for closing the back. There are more and there are more details in the how-to guide that accompanies the pattern. And this also includes how to insert hook and eye tape. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is the first one we've ever made and we've probably made some mistakes. Um, and hopefully it will just get better and better. And if you have enjoyed making this pattern, then we have lots more coming very soon in the Middle East Creative pattern and making guides. Uh, for one of my um, bodysuits will be available soon, that's still in trial. And we have a number of briefs and tops etc. So um, join us if you'd like to. Um, you can find us on Etsy, in our Etsy shop, and also on our dedicated website. And hopefully we've got videos that will come along that will accompany all the patterns and making guides. Thanks for watching. Bye.